Hello, I'm Mike from MusicRadioCreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to create complete gibberish in Adobe Audition. So you may or may not know that Adobe Audition has introduced a killer new feature fairly recently called the Generate Speech. But did you know you can mess about with it? Let's choose, uh, let's go for something nice in English, shall we? Let's find Daniel English. Perfect. And then I'm just going to put lots of random letters. A, 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 G, 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 B, 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 M, 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 like that, and generate some speech from that. A A A A A A A G G G G G G G G B B B B B B B B M M M M M. <laughs> it sounds like gibberish already, but if I go into the multi-track and drag this speech in, I can start chopping it up to my delight, and you know I'm going to start doing that. So adding in some random edits there. Okay, so we've got something nice to play with, and then drag this in like so. Pan these over left to right. Okay, that's perfect. <laughs> Just the kind of effect I'm looking for. So that sounds interesting as it is. Let's mix that down and let's then put that back into the multi track. My mix down here, shorten it up. I'm time stretching it now. And then I might want to add an effect to here, like for instance, some um, chorus and flanger together. Go for whatever preset that takes your fancy, and then I might uh, also choose, just to add a bit of presence actually, some reverb, some studio reverb. Let's go for the Grey Hall. And then we'll mix that down, multi-track, mix down the entire session. And then you can really play with this uh, if you want to take it a step further. Go to the time and pitch, the pitch bender, and I might start going for some some really exciting, uh, indiscernible now, isn't it? So that could be the start of a sound effect or some imaging or something you want to use in a musical piece. Uh, but generate speech really can be a starting point for manipulating the voice without actually needing somebody to speak the letters for you. As you can see, your computer, uh, Siri on the Mac can do it well, or the Windows voice assistants can also help you, whatever platform you're using Adobe Audition on.